Let's talk about the globe though. They keep talking about how they're gonna start making Africa look bigger on the globe. It just seems like they wanna dumb down Africa so much. Why is it so small when Africa is the largest continent that we have in the world? When you look at it on the map, Africa be kinda small over here, while North America, South America look big as hell, Europe look big as hell. They've been talking about that. Uh, they try to diminish Africa when that's the birthplace of civilization. I mean, the Greek countries and all, everyone else, Europeans, they came and studied in Africa, stole all the knowledge and went back and taught their people how to be civilized, taught them education, be scholars, taught them to be clean, use soap and all that kind of stuff. I mean, look at the pyramids. They still can't explain the pyramids to this day. To this day, they can't explain the pyramids, right? I mean, they, they want to say aliens. They want to they want to bring up everything else. They trying to decipher hieroglyphs to say there was alien technology that came in and helped them from the skies and shit. Because they talked about maybe they just had premonitions and they and they talked about rocket ships and, and and being able to go into you know into the sky, but they just didn't have the technology at the time to do it. Why did it have to be aliens coming down to help them build it? You know, they they try to say that Egypt is a transcontinental country. You know, a lot of people don't even know that Egypt is a part of Africa. It is in the continent of Africa. It connects, it's a gateway, because Pangea and everything, when all the when all the, the world was together, right? There's everything was connected and it was all molded. And then, you know, you could say that biblically is the reason why everything separated because, you know, they, they tried to build that tower of Babylon. And at that point, you know, God separated everybody and wanted everybody to, to uh, speak different languages because they was trying to reach the heavens and you can't do that. I mean, it's a firmament that would be separating us anyway. So you're not gonna never reach the heavens, but when they got separated, that could have been a part of what Pangea is, if you're biblical or you're not, but just in general, right? Africa is the birthplace of civilization, all the most beautiful fish, the most exotic fish, the most exotic birds, um, or the most exotic animals, you know, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, you know, gorillas and everything. Everything comes from Africa. So they want to steal everything from Africa, your, your precious metals, your gold, your gems, your jewels, everything. You know, they're mining it. Look at what Elon Musk and them is doing with um, trying to get the cobalt and everything out of Africa. Got all them kids working in them in them cobalt mines and got they got the diamond mines out there in Angola. Everything comes from Africa. They want to they want to steal everything from it, rape the economy. I remember I was in Paris when I was in Paris. I was looking at the Egypt Museum and it was pissing me off and I'm like, talking to my relative, I'm like, look at all this shit they stole from Africa and I guarantee you they don't pay Africa nothing to have all their precious stuff in here and they try to spend it like we're doing y'all a favor by protecting it. No, give it back. So people will go to Africa to see these exhibits, go to Africa to see all this, all this glorious, you know, beautiful things that they have, you know, on, it, on, ex, uh, on exhibit. You know, yeah, you still can go to Africa and you can see things that are there. They couldn't move the pyramids, but what they do, they find a way into them and steal everything that was in there. And then, you know, so the, 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 the cradle robbers can't get it, right? Like, come on, man. You know, if they rip themselves off, that's one thing. But another country ripping off that country, nobody else would ever go for it. You could never go into Paris and steal their stuff and then go put in, make an exhibit somewhere and they not demand their shit back or start a war. Never would that happen. You know, they just they just don't want Africa to be great. They don't want to teach you that. They want to make movies like Exodus, Gods and Men, and put white actors as the Pharaoh and as as Moses, knowing that the original Jews were black people and they were in Egypt trying to be delivered and get out of there. Wasn't no white people in that region. Nobody would be white born, you know, in Africa is too much sun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's too much melanin in those parts of the world from the Middle East to, to Africa. You know, you ain't never seen no white person look Sudanese or Egyptian or nothing like that, but they don't want us to be great. Cleopatra's and everything, all these movies throughout history, they don't want you to be great. You know, same thing with, um, what movie was that? With Christian Bale. That was, well, that was the Exodus movie. What was the other movie? Uh, the other uh, Egypt movie that they had. Uh, let me find it. Uh, and I love that movie. I love the actors. I'm into acting. Um, the movie um, it was about like Horace and uh, it had my dude, um, rest in peace in there, the Black Panther. It had my dude, Chadwick Boseman. He was in there. One of the only black actors in that film. And that was crazy for me. Um, it's called Gods of Egypt. So you had fucking two white actors playing the gods of Egypt. Like, you know, portraying themselves as Egyptian gods. That's crazy as hell to me. How do you do that? You had Gerald Butler, fantastic actor, 
and you had, what was it, Nikolaj Wildu um, playing Horus and Gerald Butler playing Set. How does that work? You know what I'm saying? You had, um, you got uh, Brenton Thwaites playing Beck. Or you had uh, Hathor, the goddess Hathor, Elodi Young. Like, where's the black people at? Jeffrey Russ, old white man playing Ra, the sun god. Where are the black people at? They always want to strip our history from us. I mean, not only did they make us slaves, come to another country, make us ignorant. You know, you change the Bible up to suit yourself and don't teach us how to read, don't teach us how to write. We can't count, right? You strip us of our name. Don't let us, don't allow us to use our name, our language, because you don't want us to try to get free, right? You don't want us to try to collude and get free and speak in a language you don't understand. You know, the same way you go to a, a Spanish shop, a Chinese shop or anything else, and they might want to talk shit about you behind your back and use their own language. Yeah, that kind of shit. You know, this is this is what, what slavery did. This is what, uh, you know, um, people that want to keep us oppressed do. They want to strip you and make you ignorant so that they're the top intelligence, right? And all they did was steal all the intelligence, all the technology that they have from Africa, and they built off of it. And I'm not mad at them for, for building off of it. And you know, like, we should all be stealing, you know, technology from each other, getting smarter. But at the same time, all I'm saying is, we need to do more to, to uplift Africa and give them their shit back or pay pay ties to what we what we stole. That's where I'm at. That's my rant. You know what I'm saying? Um, but definitely, you know, Africa needs to be recognized larger in Egypt and every all the great things needs to happen. And uh, I think that Africa could be in a great place. You know, they're trying to assassinate all the all the big figures, the people who want to unite Africa so that the world can't take advantage of them. Like my guy right now, they've been trying to assassinate him. I think that we need to do better to protect Africa, uplift Africa, and help Africa get on the same page so that they can become a civilized continent like Europe is and everything else.